Hi, I'm Steve Boyles, the Ohio State University Beef Extension Specialist, and this short presentation is about corn gluten feed. Corn gluten feed can be wet or dry. The wet product is about 40% dry matter. The dry corn gluten feed is about 90% dry matter. Both are very palatable. Both are relatively high in protein, uh, phosphorus, and also sulfur. They're both low in calcium and thiamine. Now these situations can cause problems in that if you're feeding relatively high levels of corn gluten feed, i.e. high phosphorus, you will likely have to supplement some calcium. Also being relatively low in thiamine, if you're feeding high levels of corn gluten feed, you might have to think about thiamine supplementation. Still an excellent feed, 97 to 100% the value of corn. Oops, sorry. No. If you're going to feed corn gluten feed, uh, use good bunk management, especially when feeding over 1% of body weight. This will reduce the potential for acidosis, i.e. a low rumen pH. How much can you feed? It can certainly vary, maybe a maximum of about a diet, dietary dry matter of about 33%. On an as-fed basis, you might consider limiting about 50% of the diet as wet corn gluten feed. You might be able to feed more than 50%, uh, but in several studies, this shows to be about the where you get most of the economic benefit. Dry corn gluten feed can replace 50 to 100% of the grain in a high roughage diet, say, for example, would be beef cows. Color and quali quality. For, uh, corn gluten feed can vary from yellow to dark brown. Uh, the color depends on the amount of steep liquor and the drying temperature and drying time. An extremely dark product could be an indication of heat damage, and that certainly reduces the quality of the protein. Where can you get this? Dry corn gluten feed is available in flakes or in pellets. Pellets might be an easier way to ship with less dust. Uh, pellet hardness can vary. Uh, typically a soft pellet, you have to be aware if you're putting in a grain bed and you could have some bridging. Uh, use caution and try to avoid water from getting on the corn gluten feed because this converts the sulfur to sulfur dioxide and this can be acetic to equipment. Wet corn gluten feed can be stored for longer periods of time if it's in a sealed structure to reduce the spoilage. The texture is similar to oatmeal. You may want to mix this with something else if you want to blow it, try to blow it into a silo. Uh, for a bunker, you could use one part silage, two parts wet corn gluten feed. Storing in a bag, uh, freezing is generally not a problem. If you want additional information, you can go to Ohio State University and our OSU Beef Team website. Thank you for your time.